So, last time we talked about adding and subtracting polynomials, but today we're going to start with multiplication. And we're going to start it off a little bit easier and start with multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. Now, if you remember, polynomial is an expression with many terms, and a monomial only has one term. So we've talked about this property before that's called the distributive property and that's how we are going to multiply the polynomial by the monomial. So when we learn our order of operations we learn that you have to do what's inside parentheses first. So if I was to combine all this and then multiply it by this the distributive property tells me that that is the same thing as taking this first term and multiplying it by every single term inside the parentheses. Now, we've used this before when subtracting polynomials in order to distribute that negative to each term. So we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to write it out the long way first, but you don't have to do this every time. This is just for practice. So I'm going to take this term times 9 plus negative 2 8 squared times negative 8 times negative a, excuse me, and then negative 2 a squared times negative 4 a squared. So we're still going to have the same amount of terms that we started with, we're just going to have different ones. So negative 2 times 9 is negative 18, so we have negative 18a squared plus negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 2a cubed, because remember when we multiply powers, we add them. So this is, if you remember, an understood 1 up here, so we take 2 plus 1 and we get a to the third, and then plus negative 2 times negative 4, which is going to be positive, and 2 times 4 is 8, 8 to the 4th. Now remember, I got 8 to the 4th not by multiplying 2 times 2, but adding 2 times 2 plus 2. So this is our new expression. So we're going to do a couple more examples until you get the hang of this. So now I draw the arrows just so that you guys see exactly what I'm doing. But you don't have to do that every time you do this. If you just know what you're doing, that's okay. that's fine. So this time I'm not going to write out each term multiplied. I'm just going to multiply them. So 2 times a 1 gives us 2. x squared times x to the 3rd gives us x to the 5th. Minus 2 times 2 is 4 x to the fourth plus 2 times 8, 16 x to the third minus 10 x squared. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Now, if you notice, this time our monomial is on the left, but that really doesn't change anything at all because we're still going to distribute that negative 3 the same way we do. In when it's on to on the right, but what I'm gonna do just because we always do our math right to left, I'm gonna start with this six x. You can start with the eight; that's fine. You just have to make sure that each sign goes with the correct thing that it's supposed to go with. So negative three x times six x is gonna give us a negative eighteen x squared because one plus one is two negative 5, because remember this is po plus a negative 5, negative 5 times negative 3 is going to give us a positive 15, and I know that looks like a x, but or that looked like a y, but it was supposed to be an x, x squared plus x to the 1, or times x to the 1 is going to give us x to the 3rd, minus, and it's minus because a negative times a positive is a negative, so negative 3 times 8 is going to give negative 
x. We have one more example we're going to do. Okay, so this one you might get a little scared about, but it's the same thing that we did before. We're still going to distribute. The only difference is that we add the like powers together. So I'm going to write this out just because this one's the first one like this we've done. So times a cubed plus negative a b squared. Oh, sorry. Times negative two a squared b. Okay. So when we multiply these two, we're going to multiply the each little um, similar term together. So what we multiply is we're going to multiply that negative 3, but it understood 1 out in front of that a. So you're going to still get negative 3. And then we multiply a by a cubed. So a to the first times a cubed is going to give us a to the fourth. And b squared times b squared is going to give us b to the fourth. And this is going to be plus we have negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be positive 6. a times a squared is a to the third. b squared times b is b to the third. So when we do, when we have a monomial that has more than one variable in it, we just make sure that we add the right exponents together. And say that this had like a, a plus b and we had to do negative 3ab squared times b, we would, and of course this would be inside the parentheses, all we would do is we'd keep the negative 3 and the a, because there's no other a to multiply it by, and this becomes b to the third. So that's all we have to do with multiplying today, but make sure you come back and watch our next lesson, because we're going to kick it up a little bit and multiply polynomials together.